And everybody should know that's how love goes. It's good for the soul. No, I got a long way to go, but it won't stop the pain. No, no. That's the kind of thing that keeps me coming. a bigger office yet? Mm, I don't care about that. Uh, well, you should. Okay, what do you think of these? Mm-mm. Okay, when are you going to sit still so that I can tell you my news? Because I think I'm going to burst if I have to wait another minute. Put the aside of the butler case. You know the wrongful termination You have to stop talking about work right now and just sit down, Missy. What? I'm getting married. Oh, my God. Yeah. You and Carlos are getting married. Oh, my God. He asked me yesterday. Congratulations. Let me see Thank the you. ring. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Well, the rock is damn near non-existent, but he said he's going to get me a bigger one when he can afford it. Well, he better. So when's the big day? Probably like six months before his visa expires, but still enough time to plan a wedding. So you've got to help me find a dress. Sure. What? Do you think that it's possible Carlos is marrying you to stay in the country? No. (laughs) No, we've been talking about getting married for a while now. That would be the whole ten months that you've been dating. Yeah, well, I know what I want. Carlos is it. Plus, my clock is ticking. I, I want to start a family. Okay. Well, you seem to have made up your mind. Who's doing your prenup? Um, I'm not having a prenup. I, you know, I really, I want my marriage to be about trust and sharing, and I want it to be about contracts and lawyers. (sighs) Marriage is a contract, Josefina. Okay, um, look, Carlos may be a struggling artist, but he is a very talented one. And, you know, just wait till you see his show this weekend. And one day he's going to make a lot more money than I do. Mm-hmm. And then you can tear up the prenup. But for now, play it safe. T. I'm not doing it. Josefina, you can't be serious. Will you drop it? Demonstration. Right there. Classic middle class boredom. Avery, go hold the door. All right. 
got a problem? You know, I think you should be asking him that. He's the one who's dazed. If you think you can do better, hit the board, Acmead. First of all, my name is Ahmad. Second, on, I ain't hitting nothing you. because I ain't that stupid. Let's go. We don't want to be ratted out by this ghetto fabulous bitch. Bet I won't be a bitch when I take that board and beat you down. Okay, you know what? This idiot isn't worth it. Oh. I'm going again, guys. Oh, oh you can be good. He's going to go oh. again. Do it. Yeah. 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 He was waiting when I got home last night. Be there in a minute. What's up, Kenny? Not much. How about you? check on you. I haven't heard from you in a while. You know, everything's cool. So, uh, how you doing? You all right? Kenny! Damn, what's wrong with you? <laughs> what's wrong with me? Kenny, man, get up, get dressed, and let's go. Go where? To a place that's gonna stimulate your brain. Damn you late to me. Me feel warm. <laughs> like I'm sitting around a campfire. <laughs> cannot believe you are still stripping. Well, believe it. I make more money in a day than you make all week, okay? What do you want, Dion? I want to know why your cute-ass husband and his fine friend sitting up in this club like they pay right here. Look, if my husband wants to sit at some titty bar nursing a week Long Island, that's his business, okay? He claims it helps him relax, so I am not tripping. As long as he come home tonight. Well, somebody ought to tell Erotica that. Erotica? Yeah, the dancer shaking her shit in Lem's face. Bye. Miss 
Mrs. Lignum went into labor early. So today and for the rest of the week, I have the privilege of stepping back into my teacher's shoes. Somebody kill me now. <laughs> Mr. Chadway, why don't you tell me about the report Mrs. Lingham was going to assign today? Um, I, I, I think it was on... Um, it was on the Crusades. Why don't I read it to you? Maybe you and Mr. Stein would like to listen silently while I read it aloud. Principal Gordon? Your report is due in three days, five written pages, double space, plus an oral presentation. It's your responsibility to pick a partner. So take a few minutes and pair up. I figure since the rest of the class is about as dumb as concrete, we should probably do this together. Sounds good to me. Great, I'll ask my mom to drop me off at your place after dinner. Cool. I just have to let my mom know. I don't, yes. I don't know what happened. Oh, hi. I'm hi. sorry I'm late. Hey. Okay. thought you were standing me up. We're ready. Why would I do that? Pretty pissed off at me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, how are you feeling about getting married? <laughs> Excited and uh, scared. Mm. I'm feeling like I want my best friend to share in my happiness. Josefina, I've been down this road before. A couple of times. Divorce was the worst pain I've ever experienced. I know, T. It's just... Look, just because things didn't work out for you and Miles. Thank you. I'm not talking about Miles. I'm talking about my first husband, Russell. He really took me through it when we broke up. I got my first six-figure gig. He was a pro football wannabe who couldn't get arrested. When we divorced, the judge ordered me to pay him alimony for five years. No way. Yes. And I'm still paying this dog. And he makes two million a year playing for the Raiders. Wait, oh, wait, how did he go from being wannabe to superstar? He spent a lot of time in college injured, then when he found the right doctors, his ankle healed, and then his career took off. You, you gotta take his ass to court. Look, I'll take the case on GP. And have my business plastered on every sports page in the country? Please. It's embarrassing enough as it is. I only have three more checks to pay. And I never have to think about his sorry ass ever again. Jesus. Man, those video games aren't gonna do this work for you. Don't sweat it. That stuff's easy. I'm a quick study. I hope so. Because the report is due in three days. <sighs> Come on, Amad, I'm trying to get a high score here. So am I. So why don't you put the game down and do some work? I know all about the Crusades. I said don't worry, so don't. All right. Exactly what he's doing. 
see what lie he tells me when he gets home. I would kill Kenny's ass if I caught him up in a place like this. Well, I hope you brought a gun. What? Oh my God. I should take that cane and beat him. I wonder if... I bet he better not have one. Disrespecting me, jumping up in my face all hard and wrong. Oh, you like this shit? Is that what you want? You want to stay? You know what? Stay for the rest of your life. Well, I think we better get out of here. I mean, it's, it's up to you. about something else today kind of came up. Um, a, a prenuptial. You know how lawyers are. That'll go. You want me to sign a prenuptial? Well, I, I, I think it would be a good idea. You think? Or Terry thinks? I think. First of all, I wouldn't be marrying you if I didn't think we were going to be together forever. I just think I should still try to protect myself. Protect yourself? Okay, that's not really what I meant. Um, not protect myself from you. All an agreement says is that what's yours is yours and what's mine is mine and that's all. That's, that's all I mean. Russell, this is Terry. I've been thinking a lot about you lately. Don't flatter yourself. It's not because I care a thing about you. But I just looked at my checkbook and realized that 
Pretty soon I will be sending you my last check. <laughs> I know you thought it would break me sending you my hard-earned money every single month, but it just made me stronger. So thank you. Thank you very much. You know, it's just, what kind of a man takes money from a woman when he doesn't even need it? It's tacky. It's cheap, and it's just plain wrong. So, there. That's all. I said it. No, you're not asleep. I cannot believe you had some woman's pussy all up in your face. Her pussy was not in my face. Yet. Look, I was just trying to get Kenny out of the house. Well, maybe you should have took him to a damn movie. So I gotta go to a matinee while you go out and party with your friends wearing a dress the size of a dish towel? Oh, my God. This is not about me, Lem. You're right. It's not about you. It's about me and Kenny. Brothers going out, chilling because we want to. Oh, okay, so if a brother wanted to chill with a hooker, would you take him to a whorehouse? Screwing a hooker would be cheating, and you know that's not Kenny's vibe. As far as I'm concerned, getting a lap dance is cheating. Especially if a man's sitting there with wood. It's simple, Bird. There's no penetration. It's not cheap. Oh, my. Give me a... Okay. Okay, so if I was to give another man a blowjob, oh, well, I'm not cheating. That would be penetration of the mouth. So, yes, that's cheating. Hand job. Mm -hmm. You know what? This is stupid. See what I'm saying? You can't even think about it without getting upset, Lev. Trying to act like you was just going there to relax. <laughs> I don't know how you could have thought this was going to be okay with me, Kenny. Max, you should consider it a blessing that I can still get it up after all I've been through. A blessing? You were letting that stripper rub her titties all up in your face and you're blessed? I, no, no, look, look, look. Now, I know for a fact that you have been to see men strip. So don't try to act all innocent here. That is completely different, Kenny. The difference is I don't embarrass you the way you embarrass me. You shouldn't have been there. Why? Because you didn't say I can go? <laughs> all, right, all right, I'm sorry. Next time I will ask for your permission and you can even pack me a little snack in my pail just in case I get hungry. Next time? Yes, next time. Next time those women get your dick hard, you better have them suck it too. Because your supply of homestyle blowjobs has just dried up. Baby. Baby. Don't you touch me. Stop. Maxine. you doing here? Surprise. Come on, what's the matter? Casablanca Lulis ain't your favorite no more? What are you doing here? Well, I got the message you left a couple of days ago. I'm glad you called. Here, it's for you. What's this? That's a check for the $48,000 that you paid me. Plus interest. 
Katie, I'm sorry, but your checks have been going straight to my business manager. Mm -hmm. And I forgot all about it. I would have stopped you from sending them a long time ago. So I guess I'm supposed to say thank you for giving me back my money. Well, legally, it's my money. What about ethically? A lawyer talking about ethics, all right? That's almost funny. So is the fact that you're standing at my door. Well, I wouldn't have to be standing at your door if you didn't invite me in. Well, that's not going to happen. Thanks for giving me back my money, Russell. Okay, so that's how it is. The brother comes bearing a five-figure check and gets a door slammed in his face. All right. Come in. Surprise. Hey. Mm. Oh. I'm sorry to drop by unannounced. No, are you kidding? I'm so glad to see you. No. Especially after our last conversation, I wasn't sure when I'd get to see you again. Yeah, I was thinking about a prenup, and you were right. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Mary. I'm so glad that you know that this is not a comment on how much I love you or trust you. Yeah, I know that. So, my lawyer and I came up with some ideas that will make us both happy. Wow. Yeah. I mean, just two days ago, you wouldn't even consider a prenup, but now you've gone and had your own drawn up. Like you said. It's important to know what belongs to whom. Well, I didn't quite say it like that, but... <laughs> what property, right? What property do you own? My yacht. I have to protect it. It can belong to only me. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, that seems fair. I'm glad we agree. Okay, let you get back to work. Okay. Say that to you. Richie. Hang on a sec. What? Our report is due tomorrow. I know that. Man, Principal Gorm would be all over me. He'll call my mom and everything if he catches me slipping. I'm on chill. If old man Gordon gets crazy, just blame everything on me. I'll be apologetic. It'll all be cool. Well, everything would be cool if you just cut the gossip. Now, I need you to find out which pope issued the second crusade. Okay, okay. Don't give birth to a farm animal. I'll do it in a second. You know what? I'm... Okay. Ahmad's really turning into a little whiny ass. A real whiny ass little bitch. I have something to tell you guys, and I don't want you to make a big deal out of it, okay? In fact, the only reason I'm telling you is so you'll know that it's not a big deal to me. Well, it's not a big deal, Terry. Russell showed up at my house this morning. And Russell who is? Russell, the asshole who's been taking my money for the past five years. I don't believe it. You are lying. Thank you. I wish I was. Showed up all smiling. Surprise. <sighs> that same tired old rap. Like somebody is supposed to be moved because he can quote from the life of Iceberg Slim. Oh, okay, hold on. Let's just take a moment what? and celebrate the fact that you, it no longer hurts you to talk about that title next yeah. flow. Okay? Terry, you should be very proud of yourself. You really moved on. I have moved on. Mm -hmm. Plus, he gave me back my money. All of it? With interest. Uh, well, like Mama used to say, the law works in mysterious ways. Man, it's not me, though. Ooh. If that's Josephina's man, I understand why she's going to marry him. A 
Let's go say hi. Okay. I'm gonna need another drink to look at the rest of this art. I'm gonna go up our art. This time we'll be there in a minute. So, and this one's called Source Natural. I painted it for Josefina. Terry? Hey, hey, when did you get here? Just a few minutes ago. Did Max you bring and Bird with me. Gallery. Hello, Carlos. Hey, Terry. You brought Max and Bird? Thank you. Very Please, much. you don't have to thank me. As soon as they heard Josefina, they wanted to support you. Well, that's sweet of them. I'm going to go find them and say hi. Okay, I'll be right okay. back. Please, please. Please, please. Please, please. So, uh. Having a patron sponsor a full showing of your work must feel really good. Yeah. I finally impressed a few of the critics. Mm. But my harshest critic won't give me a chance. What do you mean? I mean, I never expected you to try to come between me and Josephine. Well, I haven't. Oh, come on, Terry. What else? Would she get this prenuptial idea? I haven't put Josephine up to anything. But yes, I do think she needs to protect herself from any future problems. The only problem my fiancé and I have is people who don't mind their own business. You know, you seem a little sensitive for someone with no problems. But, excuse me, while I go mind my own business. Can I help you? No, man, I, I'm all right. Look, man, you got to do better than that or you're going to have to get off my porch. I'm sorry. I must have the wrong house. I thought this was Terry Joseph's porch. Give me a name. I'll tell you you came by. My name is Russell Banks. I prefer to wait. Thank you. Russell Banks. You play for the Raiders, right? Right. <laughs> Damon Carter. Terry knows I'm a big fan. I'm surprised she never told me you were friends. Well, I'm not surprised. When Terry and I divorced, it wasn't very friendly. So, I guess we'll both have to just wait till she gets home, huh? I guess so. Mm. Well, since you're waiting... You might as well wait inside. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Ben. Hey, Terry. Oh, shit. to come to sports bar. Uh, he was waiting on the porch when I got him. Oh, so naturally you invited him in. Well, this is a bad time. I could come back later. No, nah, it's no problem. I'm gonna go watch the game oh. in the den, okay? Okay. Mm. Mm. That's really mature. So, what do you want, Russell? I just want to talk. Okay. You've got four minutes. Hey. Hello. You know, I've been thinking about it. Maybe I should strip. <laughs> Dion makes a lot of money doing it. <laughs> well, I'm, what, what's so funny? 
Bird, you, you, you close the curtains just to put your pajamas on. Right? So I know you ain't gonna take your clothes off in public. Come on. So now you know what I won't do? Fine, babe. You wanna strip? Strip. Just let me know where and when so I can be front row center. Ugh. Tomorrow. Nine o'clock. Amateur night at the funk box. Okay. Terry. Look, I can't pretend this Russell thing isn't strange as hell. Why didn't you tell me about him? I, I, you know, I don't tell anybody about Russell. It's old news, babe. Same way Miles was old news. You didn't tell me about him either. We had to run into him on the street. What's your point? My point is you have a lot of secrets and surprises. Oh, you mean secrets and surprises like Christine? Please don't, don't change the subject. Oh, I thought the subject was secrets and surprises. It is. It is. So if you have any more of those secrets and surprises, I'd like to know. Before they greet me on the porch. Chadway and Richie Stein. Uh, Principal Gordon, I did the written part of the report, and Richie's going to do the oral part. Aye. Let's get on with it. Uh -huh. What's going on? Why'd you tell him that? Because I'm nobody's bitch. Let's get going, Mr. Stein. Um, Principal Gordon, uh, Ahmad and I need another day. No, we don't. Yes, we do. If you two can't even agree whether or not your assignment is done... Um, my portion of the assignment is done. You realize that you're going to be penalized, too, if Richie doesn't participate. I know. A whole grade for not working with my partner. Sit down, Mr. Stein. There you go. So what's up on the home front? Your wife still tripping too? Oh no, man. Now she's talking about stripping. Now you know Bert ain't gonna do that. I oh, don't know, Kenny. I mean, I mean, ever since the accident, man, she been tripping. Tripping how? Partying, drinking like we used to. The other day she asked me when was the last time I smoked some weed. Oh, well, you know, the, the accident scared her, man. That's all. Yeah, well, it scared me too, but I'm not trying to be 18 again. Look. That's all you have to do is play it cool. Uh -huh. she, she might pretend that she's going to go to this club. You know, she might even get in the car. But she ain't leaving that driveway. She, she better not. <laughs> hey, what's up, Amar? Hey, Uncle Lil. Hi, Dad. Hi, right, son. Hey, you can, man. I'm going to get back to the store. All right? Thanks for letting me bend your ear. Hey, anytime, brother. Anytime. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Ladies, shorty. All right. So how was school today? All right. Is all right the only word in your vocabulary? Nah. Nah? Ahmad. I have known you longer than you've known yourself. What's up? You remember Richie? Yeah, the kid you're doing the report with. Yeah, except he didn't do any work. I told him he wasn't going to use me, so he called me a bitch. Hmm. 
Is that right? Yep. So I turned in my project without him. I get penalized a whole grade just to make sure he gets an F. We thought we was friends, but made me feel like a chump. Oh, wait. Now, nobody can make you feel like anything, Ahmad. And nobody can control your thoughts or your feelings but you. And you know you ain't no bitch, right? Right. All right. So forget about him. <clears throat> so we cool? Yeah, we cool. All right. Shoot. Play the dominoes with your paw. The best time last night. <laughs> Carlos sold two paintings. Mm -hmm. Great. And I have your earrings. Thank you very much. They look so good on you. I'm wearing them tonight. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, T, Carlos and I are not going to get a prenup. We just, even talking about it, put space between us. And neither one of us felt comfortable with that. I know you know it's the smart thing to do. But now I'm going to leave it alone because I'm your friend. And I want to be supportive. I just don't want to go to bed alone every night because I did the smart thing. You know, I mean, remember you told me that you got married to Russell for all the wrong reasons. Because he was handsome and he was sexy and mm. because you two were young. And Carlos is all those things. And I believe he's going to be really successful someday. But that's not even why I'm marrying him. I just... I love him. And I have to believe that that's the right reason. That is the right reason. Thank you. Damon must be taking you someplace nice. You look very pretty. Thanks. Actually, I'm not going out with Damon. Really? He's a lucky guy. I'm going to dinner with Russell. Wait. I can't believe that you just gave me all that advice based on a relationship with a man that you were never going to even speak to again. Listen, I know how it looks. It's just... It's really hard to explain. We haven't resolved anything, and I really need to have a face-to-face -face with him. Sure. Have a good time, T. Come on. <laughs> okay, I'm out of here. Okay. So I'll see you later at the club. The babysitter will be here at 8. I'll be there at 8.30, front row. I'm, I'm leaving. Have a good show. Pulled out the driveway. Madame? Monsieur, welcome to Etoile. Merci. J'avais hâte de dîner ici. 
Je suis certain que vous allez apprécier votre repas. Est-ce que je peux vous offrir la carte des vins Ça serait parfait. Merci. I picked it up from this uh, French girl I used to live with. Oh. Or I should say, used to live with me. You still together? Nope. After being together for about three years, we broke up about six months ago. She took the dog and about a $500,000 settlement with her. Convinced the judge that I promised to take care of her for the rest of her life. I see. It's hard to believe that you would leave your dream job at Green North to take care of your family. Well, I did. Russell, what are you really doing in Chicago? I came to see you. And? And look at some property, check out some business opportunities. Sounds like you're trying to make a move. Maybe. I like Oakland, but uh, my contract's up this year and the bears have been sniffing around. <laughs> they could use some help. <laughs> Excuse me. Russell Banks, right? Yeah, right. My fiance's a huge fan. Can we get an autograph? Sure, if the uh, lady doesn't mind. Certainly. Fine. Thanks. We just got engaged. Congratulations. Thank you. I asked you to dinner for a reason. I assume that you enjoyed my company. Do me a favor. Don't make any more assumptions about me or my life. You had no right to show up at my front door. Twice. You screwed things up with my boyfriend, and trust me, we really don't need any help being on a rocky road. Okay, consider me scolded. Fine. You still up for dinner? Sure. Considering this will be our last meal together. Okay, I hear you. Have you chosen your vin? Are you sure you want to go through with this? No. But I'm doing it anyway. You'll be fine. Cotton looks great on you. Thanks. Now when you're ready, just pull the side of this coat. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna knock good.
Baby, as good as you look, I can't have nobody else looking at you. Now you know how I feel. When I saw you out there the other night with that girl who had her stuff all in your face, and you were letting her touch you, I felt like, like you were sharing something that belonged to me. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? We can talk about this later. Just, just put some clothes on, please. All right, okay. Damon? Shut you out the way that I did the other night. Just shake me. Just tell me to stop it. Okay. You know what, Terry? I I'm not much in the mood for favors right now. I'm, I'm tired of waiting. You know. So you're ready to talk every time we have a problem. And I don't want to have to remind you how a relationship is supposed to work. Well, I've certainly had to remind you lately. I'm not talking lately. I'm talking right now. I'm not in the mood for your verbal gymnastics, Damon. <laughs> we have a problem, and I'm just trying to solve it. <laughs> What's up, Macy? Nee, wieso rufst du so spät an? Ist alles klar? Okay. Tell your brother I said hello. Warte mal kurz. Terry! Tell me if these were still your favorite. Mm -hmm. 